Hi, uh, good morning. With the help of this animation, let's learn how a secondary air induction system works in an engine. So uh, let's uh, go into its detail. So this unit, which is shown in this arrow, this one is a secondary air induction system. And here we have our engine. This is our piston. This is our inlet valve, which is in green. This is our exhaust valve, which is in red. And this red one at the center is our spark plug. So let's start with the suction stroke. So the suction stroke is happening. You can see the piston is slowly moving downwards and here through the inlet valve we are sucking in uh, the fuel. So the fuel is being coming inside and the suction stroke is still going on and you can see the piston is moving downwards and more fuel is being sucked inside. Simultaneously the secondary air induction system is also working here. You can see this uh, yellow colored diaphragm over here which moves and which sucks the atmosphere air inside and it has been thrown outside through the exhaust. And during this time, the pure air being sucked from the atmosphere is directly thrown uh, towards the exhaust, right? So now the suction stroke is uh, progressing. You can see the piston again moving downwards. More fuel has been sucked inside. So the same is happening again. Now at the end of the suction stroke, you can see now the compression is happening. The fuel is being uh, compressed slowly. It is further compressed and at the end of the compression stroke here we have a spark happening which result in this fuel to get ignited or burns and result in the power stroke. So the power is being generated here due to the combustion of the fuel which result in our piston to be pushed downwards from the top dead center towards the bottom dead center. So the piston is moving downwards slowly. So that's the power stroke happening. And at the end of the power stroke, we start the exhaust stroke. Here, our secondary air induction system actually comes into play. This is used to comply with the Euro 3 standards of pollution. So what happens here is that you can see the exhaust is being pushed outside through the exhaust valve, this red one. It slowly opens during the exhaust stroke. And with the exhaust, we are mixing the pure air which has been sucked by the secondary air induction system from the atmosphere. So this yellow dot actually indicates the pure air and this black dots indicate the exhaust. So if we are not mixing this pure air, the amount or the percentage of pollutant in the exhaust will be more. But when we mix this pure air with the exhaust, the percentage of the pollutant coming through the exhaust uh, looks to reduce. So that's what's happening here. Again, the exhaust stroke is further progressing. More exhaust has been pushed outside and more air has been sucked inside from uh, the secondary air induction system. You can see the diaphragm, the yellow colored diaphragm moving over there, which sucks more air inside and being mixed with our exhaust. So that's simply happening in a secondary air induction system with the engine which reduces the percentage of exhaust that means the NOx and other carbon monoxide uh, harmful uh, components being emitted I mean the percentage of that being emitted because pure air has been mixed inside right so let, let's see it again the suction stroke piston moving downwards fuel has been sucked inside compression stroke it compresses spark happens then the power stroke happens piston moves downwards and during the exhaust stroke, you can see the secondary air induction system mixes the pure air with the exhaust, resulting in reducing the percentage of the pollutant in the exhaust. So I believe you have learned how a secondary air induction system works. Uh, if you like this video, you know how to thank us. And uh, you can also visit our website for more details, www.techfrictionfor.com. Or you can share this in the social media so that your friends can also learn about this technology. Have a great day. Thanks for watching this video.